Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, June 20th. Happy day that the, uh, the gym doors are finally opening back up. Um, so good things are on the horizon. If you're still working out at home with us and watching this, uh, this video right now, um, we got a great one for you today. Uh, but just depending on pieces of equipment that you have at home and if you're limited by weights, um, we might have to change up the, the, the feel of this workout a little bit, but we're still going to hit it the exact same way, just maybe with a little bit more intensity and, and try to move through it a little bit quicker than maybe those who have access to, uh, to barbells, a piece of, a car, of cardio equipment like a rower, uh, and all those plates that we're uh, ideally going to be able to use today. Um, but your Metcon today, and that's all we have is the Metcon, um, it's just a lot of legs. We start off with 20 squat cleans uh, at the lightest weight that you will use on your barbell at the very beginning, right into a 500 meter row. Reps on the barbell is going to go down every, every time by five, uh, and a number of meters on the rower is going to go down by 100 meters every time for both guys and girls. So we start 20 squat cleans, 500 meter row. If you have the weights at home, you have the plates at home that you can add on weight as we go along here. I'm going to ask you to do it when we get off the rower. Um, uh, for the next part of the workout as we move down, because uh, we then go into 15 squat cleans at a heavier weight, 400 meter row. 10 squat cleans at an even heavier weight, 300 meter row. And then finally, five squat cleans at the heaviest weight that we will hit in this, uh, in this Metcon, in this little ladder. Um, and then a 200 meter row all out sprint to finish things off today. Um, so again, it's really going to depend on whether or not you have a barbell at home, you have enough plates to add weights. Obviously, if you've got something like, I don't know, uh, like say you're a guy, you have a, a barbell that you can load up to 135 pounds, uh, or you're a girl that you can load your barbell up to 95 pounds, uh, then I would recommend we just stay there for all reps across this whole thing today. That's fine. Still get a phenomenal workout in just going about it that way uh, to not even add weights at all. Uh, but if you are able to add weights at home and you have all of the weights needed um, to hit this Metcon as it's written today, uh, look at the blog. There's a shit ton of weights. I'm not going to go through all of them. Fitness, performance, open. Um, we've got four different weights that we're going to have to use in this Metcon today. Um, you can either change those weights out before you jump on the rower or after you're done the row before we pick up the barbell again. Uh, there's a 20-minute time cap on this workout. Um, and again, you can find all the barbell weights listed online. But if you've got one weight that you can roll with at home, we're going to keep the reps the same. Uh, just keep the, the weight the same on the barbell every time. You just might be able to attack this thing a little bit faster than those that might be lifting a little bit heavier weight today. doesn't take away from the, uh, the workout. just gives it a different feel. Um, now at home, uh, if you don't have a barbell, you just have two dumbbells, uh, same thing is going to apply as if we were only able to load up to 135 or 95 on the barbell and keep it the same throughout. Uh, dumbbells are going to stay the same. Um, the thing that's really going to change it up for you, if you have a barbell at home, it's likely going to be single reps all the way. Uh, if you're loading this barbell the way we want you to load it today, uh, you probably aren't going to be stringing together touch and go touch and go sets of squat cleans with the barbell today. If you're uh, you know following the track that you should be following, um, or you usually follow uh, at the gym, like fitness performance open. But uh, if you have dumbbells today. That's not an option for you. It's going to be touch and go reps, and I'm looking for big chunks every time you pick up the dumbbell. Uh, how I'm going to ask you to move it, though, so that we can hang on to that thing and move a little bit more efficiently. When you're going touch and go squat cleans with a dumbbell, I'm going to try to narrow it in on my legs here. Your feet are going to start kind of narrow. Um, to where one head of the dumbbell can hinge forward and tap the ground on the outside of your feet. But as you extend up and you pop that hip open, as we squat, we're going to bring our legs out. As we hit that extension and we start to shrug and pull those dumbbells up, we're slightly going to step out into that squat position so that we can receive it and sink down to the bottom a little bit easier. And then as we stand back up, and we drop those dumbbells again, feet will come in, touch, bang, go. 
That way, we don't have to move all over God's creation, and it's just going to be easier for us to move that thing quicker, more efficiently. That's how I want you to attack that. But again, you get no free passes on the dumbbell just because you got dumbbells at home. Um, I'm not looking for, for single reps here. I'm looking for touch and go, big sets. Um, probably at least five at a time, no matter what round we're on. Um, so again, you're just going to have to hit the gas a little bit harder, which is going to give you a different workout, but still nonetheless going to be a good ass kicker for you today. Uh, if you don't have a rower at home, let's just stick with those same number of meters, just doing a run instead. Um, and again, when we hit the gas there at the end for a 200 meter row or a 200 meter run to finish things off, we should be moving as fast as possible. Um, so there we have it. Let's warm up. First part of your warm up is just a casual five minute row or run, whatever you have at home or whatever's easier for you. Five minutes, nice and easy. Take off. As you come back and we start stretching, uh, first thing I want you to do is take 10 step overs going forward. So basically, we're lo looking to really just stretch out your hips and get those nice and loose here. Um, so as I'm stepping forward, so this would be five step overs on uh, each leg for a total of 10. My leg is going to come out to the side, and I'm going to swing it forward, up and over, just like I'm climbing over a fence or something, some type of obstacle. Uh, after those 10, we're going to do the same thing, but going the opposite direction. We're going to go backward. So as we go backward, leg will come up in front of you first, not to the side. It will come up in front of you. You'll swing it out to the side, and then step back. Okay? So you're going to be taking some steps as you do these. Uh, I want 10 going forward and then 10 steps going backward. After each of those, 10 side lunges, and then we're going to finish with 10 quad pulls right into a hamstring stretch on the opposite leg. So we'll pull up into a quad stretch for about, I don't know, two, three seconds, and then take that same leg that you're holding, send it back behind you, hinge forward, and stretch out that hamstring on the other leg. I want 10 of those, so five on each side. Go for it. The next couple of stretches are uh, gonna start with ankle mobility stretches. Um, so basically, I want you to get down as deep as you can in a squat. You're gonna take your chest, drive it out over your knee on the right or left side, whatever you choose to start with, and we're going to drive that knee over your toe on the side that you're working while still keeping your heel in contact with the ground. Um, I want you to stretch out that ankle on the right side for 30 seconds and then move to the left for about 30 seconds. When you're done with both ankles, we're going to stretch out your wrists on both sides. So you'll take your, uh, uh, your arm, your, your right hand out in front of you on the right side, uh, peel your fingers back. For about a 20 second or so stretch on the right side and then we're going to do the same thing on the um, on the left then our last stretch from that seated position um, is just going to be a tricep stretch so you'll peel your right arm back let's go for again maybe about 20 seconds on the right and then we'll switch it we'll go about 20 seconds on the left um, so those three stretches ankles wrists uh, and triceps Okay, now uh, for warming up your, your dumbbell, your barbell, if you got dumbbells at home or uh, you have a barbell at home that you're just going to be using one weight throughout the whole Metcon today, you guys should know what you need to do to get yourself warmed up there. Um, now, if you're going to be adding weights today and you're basically going to do this Metcon exactly as it's written, adding plates every time uh, that we start a new round of squat cleans, I want to see you at minimum before you start the Metcon, at minimum, at least warm up to your third round weight. So meaning like the set of 10 that we'll do, I at least want you warming up to that weight so that barbell feels light as a feather to start. Now, if your fourth weight, the round of five squat cleans, I mean, chances are it's going to be heavy for you, but if, you, if, if that doesn't scare you, if you're not scared about being able to stand up a rep at that weight, if you want to warm up to that weight, maybe hit one or two reps, hell, that's great. Um, but again, I at least want you warming up to the squat clean weight that you're going to hit for the set of 10 before you even start this Metcon, period. 
Um, but once we're there, let's take the weights off. Let's go back down to the first weight that we're going to use. When we start with 20 squat cleans, we go into a 500 meter row or run, 15 squat cleans at a heavier weight or the same weight if you're using the same weight at home, uh, 400 meter row or run, 10 squat cleans, 300 meter row or run, uh, and then finishing with five squat cleans, 200 meter row or run. Uh, that is your Metcon. It is a 20 minute time cap. Um, should be a ton of fun. Anything that's punishing on the legs, I love it. Um, but all of those squat clean reps, if you're going to be building up in weight, even if you're not, if you've got like a, I don't know, one, like I said before, like a 135, 95 at home, chances are anybody using a barbell today is probably going to be going, um, singles all the way through. And that, that's, that's how I want it done. If you're going to be, um, slinging around the appropriate weights today, but if you got something real light at home, uh, of course we can sling some touch and go reps. Um, but most of us are just going to hit singles all the way today. If you're at the gym today, you, you should certainly just be hitting single reps, but quick ones. Um, but yeah, have a lot of fun with this one. I'll come back and uh, do a couple quick cool down stretches or tell you a couple quick cool down stretches I want us to complete. And um, we will finish up the day from there. Good luck. Three stretches to finish off today, today uh, in the cool down. That's it. Uh, first one is going to be a couch stretch. You're going to lean yourself up against a wall, fold your leg to where your foot is up against, your knee is pushed against, uh, and we're going to stretch out that quad on the right leg for 30 seconds. Then we will switch and do 30 seconds on the other leg. Uh, after that, we're going to focus more just on your hip flexor alone. You're going to get a little bit of hip flexor stretch in the couch stretch, um, but we're going to sink into it even a little bit deeper here on this next one. Just lunge with one leg out in front, send the other leg back behind you, uh, and try to really stretch out that hip flexor on the back leg behind you. That's where our focus is going to be. 30 seconds one side, 30 seconds the other side. Uh, last stretch after the hip flexor stretches on each side is going to be a standing straddle. You're going to stand up, you're going to spread your legs out as wide as you can into a split, and then you're going to let your head and your chest just sink down in for a hamstring, groin, uh, lower back stretch, all of the above. Um, so that's where we're going to finish off and just hang out there as long as you feel comfortable. Just let everything just relax and feel like jello. Um, after those three stretches, we are done for the day. That is your Saturday, uh, June 20th programming. And, uh, now that the doors of the gym are back open, I hope to see you there soon.